So I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Just one day after Phyllis Adzinger's knee surgery. The physical therapist came in to um, get me up and we were gonna walk down the hall. So we were walking down the hall and she was on my right and my husband was kind of behind us. And uh, he noticed my hand slipped off the walker and he went and put it back up on the walker and it slipped off again. And then when he looked at me, the whole left side of me was um, very loose, uh, my mouth was drawn. A CAT scan revealed blood clots in her brain and lungs. After hearing the test results, Dr. Shervin Dashti, neurosurgeon with Norton Neuroscience Institute, immediately performed an acute stroke intervention procedure. Acute stroke intervention is when we um, go and unblock uh, one of the major arteries going to the brain and someone was having a stroke that moment. In certain situations, if we can go in there and unblock that artery in time, we can save that patient from having a stroke or a big giant stroke that could be uh, even life-saving or limb-saving. I was awake, uh, but did not, could not feel anything. So when they pulled the clot out of my brain, the right side, um, immediately I could move my fingers. The acute stroke intervention procedure uses advanced technology that doctors say is minimally invasive, leading to many positive outcomes for patients like Phyllis. Acute stroke intervention is done by uh, a neurointerventional surgeon um, going through the artery, usually the artery in the leg, uh, and going through the arteries all the way into the arteries of the neck and arteries of the head, and getting to the side of the occlusion or blockage and physically removing that blockage. It's amazing. It's an amazing surgery. Doctors say this procedure is not appropriate for everyone. The worst strokes, the, the, the biggest strokes, uh, so in situations where a big vessel, a big artery supplying blood flow to a big part of the brain is blocked, that's the ones we go after because that has a chance of causing very significant morbidity and possibly death in that patient and we can uh, possibly reverse that. Dr. Dashti says patients have only 12 hours to get to a doctor after the first sign of a stroke. Waiting too long can eliminate any chance of having the procedure. Every second counts. Every minute counts. I shouldn't be here, you know, but because everything happened in such a timely fashion, that is the importance of a stroke. And had I not been in the hospital, I probably would have just went and rested. In Phyllis's case, a blood clotting disorder she didn't know she had caused her stroke after her knee surgery. Doctors say she's now recovering nicely. But they told me it would be three to six months before the energy would begin to come back and maybe a year.